Hi, welcome to another installment of my Mass Effect multiplayer guides. And a uh, champion, as I am, of the of the underdog, of the underrepresented class. And after hearing uh, quite a few suggestions that I should uh, do something with the Turian soldier, I went ahead and did something with the Turian soldier. Uh, let me say that I had to train myself for this because the Turian soldier uh, was something I neglected. And, uh, and wrongfully so. It's really quite an awesome class in the right hands and um, it's very very effective. Uh, here um, I had the opportunity to pr present <clears throat> two diversion builds um, because I think if you want to capitalize on the Turian soldier's primary skill, his, uh, his special skill, his marksman, and uh, I'll talk about that more in a second, but marksman essentially either increases precision or accuracy, or actually does both, but to different degrees. And so I've come up with basically two alternative builds that are, I think, both equally effective, um, more or less, and but they do play slightly differently. And uh, a for one reason because you know it's fun to have a bit of variety, and uh, you know another reason, some people probably will prefer one over the other. And I'll just I just kind of dub them the precision build and the and the rapid fire build. And um, in my videos, you see uh, I, I'm running both. I spec back and forth for the purpose of this uh, of this guide. Now uh, I think the Turian soldier. Let's go over his strengths and weaknesses. Let's start with the weaknesses. Uh, people don't like Turian so They like the Sentinel a lot more, and I can understand why. And um, they don't like uh, the soldier as much. The soldier is, is unfortunately fairly fragile. Yes, he has more health than a human, more shields, but at the end of the day, you're going to go down just as quickly as most humans will. Um, what's more, something I've complained about in the forums is that the lack of mobility, it's real, a real killer. Um, and there really is no justification. For, you know, the, the running joke is that um, marauders can roll, so it must be a Reaper tech upgrade for Turians. But the simple fact is, is that not even the Sentinel is, is OP in that sense, and certainly the Soldier is not. Sure, in the skilled hands, it's, it's, it's devastating, but you can't justify the lack of mobility. It, it really is crippling sometimes. I mean, when you want to roll out of the way or grenade or something, it, it, it's quite... Uh, I mean, obviously, Bioware is not going to fix that. I mean, I know they have their reasons or they're too lazy, even though there have been constant complaints. I think that's really the major, major weakness. Because you're basically a sitting duck, um, you don't run that that mu that much more quickly than uh, you're not you're not you're not running as quickly as a krogan. So, I think the lack of mobility and lack of speed uh, is the worst aspect of the Turian soldier. Um, yes, you can compensate that with an adrenaline mod, like I did in my uh, my Talon video, but uh, it only goes so far. I would just love the ability to roll or even hop to the side of the quarians and, and get, but. That's neither here nor there. Um, I think that's the major weakness. Uh, let's talk about the strengths of the soldier. Well, I think more so than any other soldier, um, barring perhaps the human, the, the Turian really is all a sol soldier. Really is just about it's about his weapon. Um, and I'll talk about proximity mine, which I use pretty extensively as well. It's gr great power, but um, but he's about his weapon. Um, I mean, you can't really complain if he, all all he has is he does is shoot things. But that's what he does. The thing about the Turian is he shoots things exceptionally well. And uh, how you build um, how you build it is, is really dependent on how you spec out um, marksmen. So let me just go through um, the first build. The first build is a what I call the precision build. Now Turian the Turian um, certainly you're not an infiltrator in terms of the damage, but Marksman can be spec such that um, you have a 60% accuracy bonus and a 25% headshot bonus. If you've taken the headshot bonus uh, da um, as a passive, that is 20%, that makes for 45% on top of normal headshot damage. That's pretty impressive. The, uh, so that, that's something, if you're going to do precision build like I did, that's really, really important. So what you'll be specking for in Marksman and the precision build is accuracy as opposed to rate of fire, a 25% extra headshot damage as opposed to duration, and finally, you as opposed as opposed to cooldown, because cooldown 
Bioware did buff it in the sense they gave it a two second reduction in cooldown. Take uh, take the ten percent uh, bonus to, to fire rate and um, and accuracy. There, that's that's the marksman. Um, and the other thing that I, the passive is really really important for both terrains, but I'm talking about the soldier for now. I cannot stress enough that I personally think. Taking anything but the weapon damage bonuses and stability bonuses is a waste of time. Why? The Turians are unique. What what they bring to the table, no other class does, and that in terms of stability. Stability, when it's maxed out, uh, and I mean taking each one, so take for a level 4 evolution, take the top one, 7.5 uh, weapon damage, including the stability bonus, then take headshot damage, and finally the bottom evolution for, for level 6, take the weapon, the weapon da damage along with stability. Why? You have a 55% stability bonus. Now, you might think, oh, uh, assault rifles, they have that already. I don't even like assault rifles, and they're quite frankly, they're not as effective as, uh, as say, the Hornet, which I'll talk about later. That, that affects every weapon. That means that um, the hip firing on a lot of weapons, which you're forced to do uh, with, uh, with other classes, are not necessary. You can, you can scope in or aim uh, this is a tremendous advantage. On top of that, um, the Turian Soldier has a 30% weapon damage bonus. Very few classes uh, have that much um, in terms of overall weapon damage. So that, that, that's just a no-brainer. Your, your cooldowns are pretty important, but not as important as... You, know, you always have stability there whenever you're firing your weapon. So I would suggest no matter whether you go with a precision build or rapid fire build, you're going to want to take, in my opinion, Stability, max out stability, 55 percent. Um, and you might think, well, for the talent, that doesn't matter, right? No, wrong. Uh, if you've ever used the talent, it has tremendous kickback. I mean, when you when you scope in, when you when you zoom in, you know, I don't use a scope, and I'll get to that in a second. Uh, it, it will it will shoot into the air. Um, that doesn't happen with the Turian um, because you have the stability, and that allows you for consecutive. Precise consecutive uh, allows you to execute precise consecutive shots. No other class can do that. Not even the Geth uh, infiltrator. That's another story. So yeah, the, the really really important. I think marksman the passive. Now, um, I I do favor proximity mine, but concussive shot. Let me. I didn't I didn't build it that way in this video in these videos. But concussive shot is very 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 good power, in the sense that it's incredibly spammable. It's great against phantoms. Um, without concussive shot as a Turian soldier, you you're not dead meat, especially if teammates. Then then I think phantoms are dead meat because you don't hit them with stasis. You can one shot them in the head with a talent. But concussive shot is it, because it's so spammable. You can uh, you can really keep them on their toes. And uh, anyway, but I didn't go for that proximity mine. Why? Uh, I think proximity mine. Role playing wise is a good addition to the Turian soldier. I think of him as sort of a strategist, um, but um, it's mostly mostly because of the eight second twenty percent increase in damage. It's great against Atlases. Um, it, it, when you when you're playing with a team, it's decimating. I mean, your teammates really benefit from it, and you benefit from it as well. You've been doing solo runs, um, and the cooldown isn't that bad. So you can when, once the cooldown's off there, you can. You can hit uh, marksman and then just fire away, and you're going to be doing 20% extra damage. Uh, that's on top of 30% weapon damage. So you're, you know, you're doing basically 50% of your base weapon damage. In in terms of the the of fitness, I kind of did a mix here, um, and I'll tell you why. Uh, for four, I took melee damage. For five, I took the increased shield uh, recharge rate, which I think is important, and then. I went for melee synergy. Why? Um, it doesn't always happen, but it's nice when you can, um, if an enemy is almost dead, and Turian is not a melee specialist by any means, to to KO that enemy with a melee, and then you get a 25% weapon damage bonus uh, for 20 seconds, which isn't too shabby, I think, which is why I chose that. Turians, I don't care what people say, are, are pretty fragile, so whether I, I think it's a matter of preference whether you go for you know, 200 extra points or so in shields or not. I don't think in the case of the turn it makes a tremendous difference because you you don't have a lot of durability. Um, you're 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 somewhere on the continuum between a, a Krogan and, and a human, but I think you're much closer to a human in how fast you go down. Okay, so 
that's basically the build. Let me run through that for the, the, the precision talon build. Um, for, for, for marksman, four you go for accuracy, then you go for the headshot damage bonus, then you go for increase uh, for six accuracy and uh, fire rate. Skip concussive shot, proximity mine, you go for radius because it, it's, it's, it's basically setting up for the 20% extra damage bonus. That's level four evolution, 50% radius. Uh, level five evolution, uh, proximity mine for 20% extra damage, 8%. And finally, the cooldown, because I think it's more important. Proximity Mine isn't a damage dealer, but it sets up damage. So you want to go for the cooldown bonus. Passive, um, stability, weapon damage bonus 4, headshot 5, and then finally 10% weapon damage and stability. I can't stress this enough. No matter what build you do, take weapons, max out weapon stability. Your turn will thank you. Your squad mates will. It's really, really, really good. Um, it's really what makes ultimately that both chariots worth playing, in my opinion. Otherwise, it would just be, I don't know, kind of. Anyway, um, so there's that. And then passive is kind of up to you. I like having that melee synergy when I can get get some um, some heavy melees and then get the extra weapon damage bonus. But I'm not going to be too prescriptive about fitness with regards to the chariot because his lack of mobility is pretty crippling, and I think you'll go down if you're under fire pretty fast, regardless. So. Now the reason why I chose the Talon um, for the Talon build is the following: is that basically I tried the uh, the Claymore out, and yeah, it's crazy accurate and stuff. But the thing about Marksman is, it even with the accuracy, you'll still have a thirty-five percent rate of fire increase. So I thought, you know, yeah, I use the reload trick and what have you, but I want to be able to, you know, have a couple of shots to pop off um, with my with my gun. If I'm gonna even if I'm doing using a heavy hitter weapon, so what's a nice compromise? So I tested various diverse weapons out, and came to the conclusion that at least in my opinion, the Talon is probably one of the best weapons for a precision build Turian soldier. Now my Talon's only level four, so I can only imagine once it gets past level five and imagine level ten, the kind of how decimating it would be. I I, I fully suspect that at short to medium range at level ten. Um, with with a with a pistol amp, you probably could one hand shot a phantom. Um, we're not quite there yet because it's just too weak. But um, the reason why I chose the talent is because you do have four shots, depending on how you uh, what kind of weapon mods you use, and that you can take advantage of that. Talent also does tremendous damage. Most importantly, the talent ignores shield gate, so it's very easy to um, pop pop headshots. No matter how good the paladin and the carnifex might be, people say shield gates uh, kind of the not that big deal. I don't think so. I like being able to one-shot things. If I'm going to go for precision build, that's what I want. And and anything up to a phantom, if you get a headshot, will be one-shotted if it's precise. And even and even at fairly decent range, you'll see some shots I get off there in the video because of the precision, the 60% added uh, bonus. Uh, in terms of weapon mods, I hate scopes on anything but sniper rifles. I don't even like sniper rifles that much to begin with, so I'm kind of biased. So what I did, um, definitely take the weapon damage uh, barrel mod, that really very, very important. Um, because you, the 25% extra damage is, is pretty significant. Though, you know, you can experiment around. I still haven't experimented uh, enough with that. I, I just assume that it's probably pretty significant on that one. Uh, take the armor piercing mod. Why? Lots of reasons. You see a lot of enemies and behind cover and, I, and I'm killing them despite that. Now even with a reduced damage, <clears throat> you're going to have over a meter of pen penetration and that's significant. One thing it does as well is it flushes enemy out of, out of cover. Even if you're just getting uh, one or two slivers on, on, on shields or what have you, you will be able to flush them out of cover and then, and then, uh, and then kill them, basically shoot them. So that's really important. Um, also good against armor. And of course, as, as far as uh, as far as uh, ammo powers are concerned, uh, probably in typical in, in incendiary or cryo works really well, as you see I use in the video. There it works quite quite well. Um, and yeah, just try to get those headshots as much as you can. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much the the precision talent turning soldier build. Moving on to the rapid fire build now. The rapid fire build, I think, is much more common as a general principle, meaning more people just think, oh, you know, I'm going to grab my revenant and just mow everything down. Yeah, that works. It's okay. 
but I, 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 I'm willing to bet that it's just not nearly as effective as, uh, as the, um, the Hornet is. For a lot of reasons. The Hornet way, it gives you a 200% recharge rate, so you can spam Marksman much more often. You can spam Proximity Mine much more often. Uh, if you use an a a AP armor piercing, uh, ammo power like I have in the, in the, other, in the video, you'll mow down Guardians, uh, armor, n nothing is, uh, everything is fair game. So, yeah, the, the, the Hornet, and the, plus the Hornet is much more accurate, and I think the damage is better on the Hornet as well. Here is really where stability comes into play. In this, in the video you see, I have, I think, a total of 85% stability. So I have 55% from the Turian, and I have a, a level 3 stability mod, which is 30%. That means, forget about hip firing, zoom in, and just get those precision headshots or just fire, you're not going to miss, I mean, you will not have any kickback, it's incredible. Um, and I can only, um, I can, I, it's really, really great, and even without the, uh, the uh, stability mod, you're still going to have very, very little recoil on the Hornet, um, so you don't need to be in the cover, you don't need to only hip fire, you can, you can zoom in and you'll be fine. Other classes, I like the Hornet a lot. Um, but you will have to hip, hip fire a lot more, even with a even if you have thirty percent stability. So, um, incredibly important. And you know, marksman, as I said, it's the opposite. So instead of taking uh, accuracy, you go for uh, ra a rate of fire, and then you go for duration because I think it's more important to be able to constantly lay down a barrage of fire. And then finally, uh, one level six, the same evolution rate of fire and uh, an accuracy increase. Everything else is the same, um, with the exception that on um, I max out, I just max max out health and shields because I didn't I didn't expect to melee that much with the uh, with the Hornet build. But fitness is how you spec fitness is really up to you. I'm not gonna like I said be prescriptive about that. Um, my with the Hornet at least, which is I don't have the I'll get to the Hurricane in a bit. I don't have it yet, but um. With the Hornet, uh, the thing you need to keep in mind is that it is, uh, it's, it's reload time. It's, the Hornet is a fantastic weapon. It's got to be, I think, I don't know, I can't judge a hurricane. I don't have it. I'm looking forward to the possibility of getting it, but I'll probably just get a shitty Crusader. But the Hornet, it has incredibly fast reload time. It's precise. It does high damage. It's got the highest rate of fire next to the hurricane. Um, so I, I would go for the, the damage barrel mod and uh, the heat sink. Um, in my personal opinion, uh, because you're actually saving ammo that way at the end of the day, and because because the, um, the reload time is so so fast with the corner, I, you don't you really need that's not really an issue. You'll you'll instantly reload and just keep on firing. So that's what I would suggest with that, and um, you know weapon. Ammo powers are fantastic with the Hornet, um, but against Guardians, unless you have concussive shot. If you have a custom shot, you can pop their shield and, give, and then just kill them. So that way, if you don't, I would suggest using AP armor. If not, you are accurate enough to fire through the slit, and you, you probably can't headshot them even with the Hornet, which is pretty incredible. But um, that's the Hornet uh, build, basically, in a nutshell. Um, the I wish I, I I'm looking forward to getting in the Hurricane uh, for the simple reason that everyone's raving about it because it's been upgraded. Um, although I, I have to say, uh, because I, I think precision is important, even, even with a rapid-fire weapon, that uh, <clears throat> I probably would prefer the Hurricane on the Centurion Sentinel, but I don't know. We'll see what we get after uh, after the weekend. I wouldn't also wouldn't be too dis uh, dissatisfied with the Valiant. I think the Valiant can be a very powerful option, even though I'm not really a sniper. I would, I would train myself to learn how to use it properly with the Turian Soldier, so... You know, we'll see what happens. But this is the guide in a nutshell. Um, two different alternative builds that do play, in fact, quite differently. One um, that emphasizes headshots. Oh, and let me, a, a final point. I think whether, whatever build with, you go with, precision or rapid fire, um, one important thing I think you need to keep in mind is that because you're weak, you get killed pretty easily, you don't want to risk exposure too much. There are a lot of rapid fire weapons, such as the Revenant and what have you. No matter how fast, you might think they'll no enemies down, you're going to be exposed and you'll get shot very easily. Uh, I made some stupid mistakes in my videos. By the way, I don't make these videos to just display perfect gameplay. I think I'm a good player, I'm not the best, but it's just, it's it's all instructive. But yeah, if you're going to be exposed a lot and you don't have any, uh, squad mates present 
to back you up, or even if they do, for some reason the trained soldier, the enemies love to shoot them, especially if you're playing with all infiltrators. Uh, you know, you want a weapon that you can just pop back in the cover and in and out, and I think both the Talon and the, um, the Hornet uh, allow you to do that. Also on a final note, uh, it's hard to really, s I think in some, in, at the moment the Hornet does seem to be more effective than the Talon build, because my Hornet is level 10, and my Talon is level 4. Uh, I imagine, like I said, if I had a level 10 talent, I would just be decimating things. I mean, level the damage increase would be significant enough. Um, I'd have more ammo available and the weight. Uh, I have 164% uh, recharge rate, which is pretty good, but it would be, I think, much, much closer to 200. Probably be like 180 or something, which would be all significantly better with regards to proximity of mine as well. So, anyway. Uh, that's my Turian Soldier Guide. I hope you enjoy the videos, and I hope you, uh, you know, enjoy the comment, or can profit from the commentary. You know, the purpose of these videos really is to, to, well, it's fun for me, and people really do seem to appreciate them, so I'll continue making them. And I like representing underrepresented classes, so I don't think you'll be seeing me making an Infiltrator uh, video anytime soon, um, for the simple reason that, uh, well, yeah, I mean, everyone plays an infiltrator. It's kind of boring. Anyway, I'll see you in the forums, and hope you enjoy everything.